Last time these teams played, just about two weeks ago, it was 147-143. Highest scoring game of the year either way as Turner has the first two baskets. Yeah. Having an outstanding third year out of Kentucky. Right there, there you go. Yeah. What, what you're starting to see is a rhythm being developed, a flow. Of this has had eight in double figures on Thursday night. Emhart gets inside and tried to kick it out to Wara, taken by Maxi, running is Milton. They fumble they it fumble away. away. And then the Pacers come up with a loose ball. McConnell, the former 76er, shot fake Nemhar. Show and go and did not get the roll. Well, he's in the sun. I mean, I challenge him, but it's not like I do. You know. Neesmith fights again. He had it blocked by Embiid. He's in there by himself. Out to Nemhar for three. McDaniels came over in a trade from Charlotte. Playing his 14th game with Philadelphia again two weeks ago. He had 20 points. No, Kevin, you know, let's go Chad. I'm giving them all credit. And anybody else that was involved in that. Because it makes a huge difference. Because Turner for the Pacers. Embiid for the 76ers. Embiid guarding Nemhart. Shot clock at five. Nemhart steps back. Launches no good. And picked up by Harris. Knocked away by Neesmith. Oh, thank you. And Nimhart coasts in for the layup. A 70-point first half for Philadelphia. They had 78 the last time. Nimhart couldn't get it. Offensive rebound, Neesmith. Looked like they might go for a foul just to stop the clock. And that's a layup. Neesmith has started the quarter with two. One of the good things about the, what the Pacers have on the floor, they've got guys that can rebound three ball, three, uh, three point misses, three shot misses, three point shot misses. Say it. Because you got, again, you got four people out there that can be active on the floor as well. But both teams, Chris, both teams have gotten in the paint and moved the ball. E. Smith for three. And Embiid has the rebound and. They have pumped in the face. At a high level right now, and again, they've won seven straight, five straight on the road. And the lead back to 11. Nemhart ducks in and banks it in. And he forces you to come after him. And I mean, Harris has 12 points, but he's able to get an easy, ooh, tough shot there by Nemhart. But he gets an easy shot because Embiid is where the attention is. But this game is about defense. This game is going to be one on the defense. Free throw line jumper. Nemhart has 16. Just over five minutes to play. Uh, Philadelphia trying to sweep the season series as Nemhart goes in. He has 18. He had a 10.10 rebound game a couple of games ago. Well, that's what they put him out there, quite frankly, because we were just talking about um, dealing with Montrose Harrell. We'll start it Monday at Charlotte, Wednesday at Toronto, Friday at Boston, and then a week from tonight in Atlanta against the Hawks. As Furkan Korkmaz comes in, sixth year out of Turkey, and you know we're so used the last couple of years to see Nate McMillan as the head coach of the Hawks. Now it's Quinn Snyder in a round of 32 game against the Miami Hurricanes. Well, that's nice of you. Thank you. The women actually did a great job today. Yeah, they won by 30. I know.